So the latest news is that this movie is going to be released on IMAX, yes, which is going to be a really great viewing experience for us all. Yeah. What yeah. scene do you think will be most impressive on this screen? Well, I think there's a couple of really grand scenes. I mean, that's why we wanted it on the movie, because there's it's, the movie's big. Overall. And so there's these great scenes with them climbing onto these moving trains and then hanging out of these moving trains and then jumping onto sort of a seven-story roof from an elevated train track moving, you know, from a moving train. So it's kind of crazy and big. And then there's a great sort of epic scene that takes, or iconic scene that from the book that takes place on this Ferris wheel, yes. where um, Four and, uh, and Triss climb the Ferris wheel, and so, which, which will be great when it's huge, because the Ferris wheel is huge. Yeah. Yeah, and they really did it, so. I know, I heard a lot of the actors actually did a bunch of their own stunt oh, yeah, work. Yeah. Were you There's nervous at all? A little bit. I mean, there, there was a lot of fighting, and there was a lot of, uh, you know, getting on and off those trains. I wanted to do it as real as possible, um, and which required them to do a lot of it. And we didn't, you know, we didn't do a CG train or a green screen train for them to jump on. They were actually oh, wow. climbing up onto the L tracks in Chicago, and then getting on. We built our own train and our own stretch of tracks, and they ran, you know, got on it, and you know, it's crazy. It was a very small production. It obviously. was a big production <laughs> for that reason. Yes, yeah. So it's good. Very cool. Very cool. And I'd love your uh, your your take on the creative liberties that you took because this is based on a book. Right. What creative liberties did you take in bringing it to life? Well, you know, a movie is not. It's different from a book. It has different right. different needs. And I mean, some of the things that I I wanted the society. You know, it's like we've seen lots of future movies, movies set in the future, post-apocalyptic movies, and so it's like, how do you do it differently? And so one thing that I wanted to do was to, I, I began the society as more of like a communal utopia, as more of a successful society, not, not as run down as it is in the book, oh, but then it sort of gets to that place. Oh. So I wanted to give it, um, you know, a visual journey because Shay, because Shailene's character, Beatrice, is buying into the society. She wants to be part of it. And I thought that the society needed to be, seemed to be something that you would want to be a part of at mm -hmm. first and seemed to be working and peaceful and successful. Um, before we started to see the cracks underneath, so very good. Yeah, and we are here at Comic Con. One we word are. to describe this experience: madness, madness. Nice. Comic -Con. Yeah, I think that's what Zoe said. Actually, oh, really? madness. Zoe and I think the same. Where is Zoe? Is she here? Is she going by? Oh, there she is, right there. Reunion yeah. is happening in T minus one hour. It is. It so is. So nice okay, to meet nice you. Okay, nice meeting you. Thanks, Thanks so for your much. questions.